What better way to get your home or garden ready for Easter than with planters that are easy to make? Joining us now to show us how is Kathleen Yoshinaga with the Hawaii Floriculture and Nursery Association. Good morning, Kathleen. You had me at easy. Hi. Well, I love how spring brings so many colors to play with. So you can create your own Easter arrangement. And now I'm going to show you two planters that you can use for your Easter table or just using for gifts. The first one is a pre-made, you know, those little planters that you can see at the nursery. Mm -hmm. Well, I picked up one that's a lantana and I added to it plastic eggs that I just, you know, put it, shoved in a little stick at the bottom of it and just poke it into the planter. How easy can you get? And it's so colorful for your table. Mm -hmm. Very cute. Now that's a super easy one. Now, this next one requires a little bit more work. Let's start with an Easter basket or an Easter basket. In this case, I have an Easter planter that I found. Mm -hmm. and it's a plastic bucket and you and I also found some four inch flowering plants. So you can use any kind of four inch plant or six inch plant, depending on how big your basket is. Now, I like to put in a layer of rock on the bottom. Um, if it is a basket, by the way, a woven basket with holes in it, you will need to line it maybe with a you know, plastic liner first or maybe a, a garbage bag to just to hold it. Now, remember, this is not going to be a permanent planter, but an arrangement. So I put the rocks in first so that my plant will sit right on top of the pot here. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to leave the pot in, I'm going to leave the plant in the pot so that it won't make so much of a mess and it's not permanent. I'm going to fill this rest whole thing up with some soil to make it to make my little garden patch because mm -hmm. I am going to try to create a carrot patch. Now to get ready with the rest of the items, take carrots. Now, you know, most carrots don't have a top, so I just stuck in a little piece of green on the top. But if you cannot find a piece of green, you can always use green toothpicks. I found they work pretty well. And just put about three right on the top there. Okay. So you have a green, you know, a carrot top. Mm -hmm. And it has a little color now we get, there. Yeah, just a little color. Next, get ready with your bunny. The bunny here is a cotton ball. I have a big, large cotton ball puff here. But you can always just create your own whatever little patch here, mm -hmm. puff here, and then make get something for its tail, make colored tail, mm -hmm. puff tail. And the only thing you need to do is draw your little footsies and cut them out with paper and maybe <laughs> draw in your, your little toes and your little oh. soles and then glue or paste them down into your back of your bunny. Mm -hmm. Now putting them all together in the planter that we started with. It will come out oh. like this. And what I did was I put about four of the carrots in it mm -hmm. with my little patch. I put some popsicle sticks there. I don't know if you can see them. as my little gate oh. right there. And then just put the bunny at the end trying to get into your little carrot patch. I love it. I used a little sticker from the flower. And voila. You have a little scene. Yes, and you can do whatever you want because you can put a different plan if you want a different color or yes. even maybe if you want to put a little chick in there and maybe make, make a little color Anything. chick with, right. You can do it, you can get, get as creative as you want and it's really a simple task to I do. I love it. And you know what? Not only can you do it, but you can get the kids involved and you can get them to do oh, it. Even yeah. Yes, perfect. It's easy, very easy. Very cute and adorable. Thank you so much, Kathleen Yoshinaga, for joining us. Happy Easter. Happy early Easter.